What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be modeling the, a Starbucks cafe in Revit. So I'm going to be showing you how to start off with a basically a blank project and then I'm just going to be showing you how to model this whole cool little Starbucks cafe using Revit and just using some of the basic tools, some in-place families, just basic stuff like that. But before we get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day and follow me on social media as well. And if you want to get this final project file that I am going to be creating in this tutorial then check out the first link in the description at my patreon all of my patrons that are at five dollars a month or more get access to all of my project files so that's over 140 projects so far but anyway let's get started modeling this Starbucks cafe so I'm just going to be using the architectural template for this project and as always first thing I like to do is I like to set the units so as soon as Revit starts up I just type in UN and here I'm just going to be changing the units to centimeters. I just prefer working in centimeters, hit OK. Next thing we're going to be doing is setting up the levels. So I just go to South Elevation and here as you can see we've got two levels and uh, the second level let's just set it at, uh, let's do 350 centimeters and let's rename it into roof and okay and level one can stay level one and I'm also going to be adding another level for kind of the terrain so let's go to uh, level tool or you can use the shortcut LL I prefer using shortcuts so that's what I'm going to be using and here and then set it up at minus let's do minus 50 centimeters and now uh, as you can see here's this little button and if I hit it I can kind of drop it off like this so it doesn't interfere with the upper level. But anyway, let's just call this one ground. And again, rename levels. Okay, so now we've got our levels in place. So now we need to do something just to get some basic dimensions on how this will look. I have an idea of what I want it to look, but I don't have the idea of the dimensions. So how do you do that? Well, I'm just going to be going to level one. And now let's start off from furniture. I know it sounds weird to start off from furniture, but it's actually uh, a lot easier to get the basic dimensions and the basic size. So I'm just going to be going uh, here to insert. Uh, load family and I'm just going to be using the this generic uh, Revit family library and just go to furniture and let's see for tables uh, I've got one of these round tables with chairs and just open it up and let's use the let's go to architecture component and let's use the smallest one this one and let's just place it anywhere here on screen so now you've got the basic idea of what's the the basic unit of this cafe the table with four chairs and I'm just going to be spinning it around at 45 degrees and now create an array to get the the whole uh, width of the cafe so just go array number five last you start off from here and you end up well wherever and then you can select the last one and just using the arrow keys I can kind of make them a bit denser maybe this will work okay this looks decent enough so we've got some five tables over here so the next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using the basic wall so just go here to wall or WA is the shortcut and let's use the smallest one I can find let's use this one brick and let's create a rectangle like this so this won't be an actual wall this is just something I'm using to get the basic dimensions of the cafe just kind of sketching using this wall command maybe kind of do it like that okay so we've got that dimension then let's do another wall command so WA again and let's do another one over here kind of like that or actually yeah and I want this kind of thing like this okay so this is kind of just a walkway so let's make it at 120 and do the same thing on the other side so oops I don't need that dimension so just 120 over here and then for this one let's keep it at I don't know let's do it 60 and do the same thing on the other side let's do this one at 60 as well okay so once we have that let's just move these along the side kinda like that and yeah leave enough room between the table and this so 
looks kind of like that. Okay, so now again, let's go to component and let's place some tables over here. So let's place one like this, but let's spin it around again at 45 degrees. Let's see if we do one like that and let's say we can fit three. So just array AR is the shortcut and let's do number three, first to last, kind of do it like this. Yeah, there is enough room, more than enough room, kind of like this. And then let's do three more kind of, or maybe two more kind of sitting here regularly. Okay, so we've got enough tables and uh, just by using tables, uh, we've determined the dimensions of our whole cafe. So let's say this, this works and we've got enough room here for a little bar and a couple of doors and whatever we need. Just for this working area, let's do it at 220 or 240 maybe. Let's leave enough room for the people working here. This is where the actual kind of kitchen will be and the toilet and some storage area. So let's leave enough room for that. Okay, so once we have this, so these walls, we're going to be deleting the, these later, but we just need them to kind of, uh, as placeholders, just to kind of sh show us the basic dimensions. So now I'm just going to be selecting the outer layers. So just hold the control, select them all, and uh, let's change the height to 100 centimeters. So just to make it easier for me to see them. And for these and these as well, just hold the control. Let's attach them to roof level. Okay, so they're both going from level one. And if I now go to south elevation, this is what we get. So this is that uh, glass area. This is where the customers are. This is the little terrace and this is the working area. And actually, let's select this, uh, remove for selection, just holding the shift key, remove this level and maybe we can change this immediately to some storefront. Yeah, this looks better now. Okay, so once we have that, now we can do the, the basic part so the main thing which is that like c-shaped uh, element that's going all around and encompassing the whole cafe it's what gives it what gives it its interesting look and for that let's use a component in place so just go model in place and this will have kind of this will be basically a floor so let's just categorize it as a floor let's call it floor one who cares and let's go to create extrusion, but we need a work plane. So for that, let's go into level one, go reference plane, and let's just place one like this. And let's call it, oh, let's call it S for Starbucks. And let's go back into south elevation, go create extrusion, S plane, go OK. And now let's start from here, but I'm just going to give it a bit of an offset, like 20 centimeters, go to the end, go all the way up and then finish it off over here. Again, give it in a little bit of an offset, but not too much. And let's bring this down a bit, and I'm going to be offsetting by 30 centimeters, because that's the, that's the thickness of this whole C-shaped part. And now let's just fill it to the edges, so let's give it a radius of, I don't know, like 80 centimeters. Yeah, that looks cool. Okay, and now just use the offset tool with an offset of 30 centimeters, and just give it an offset like this. Okay, that looks cool. And then let's just cap this off over here. Okay, no offset. Close that off, close this off, and just TR for trim and extend. And let's just connect all of these. Okay, we need one line over here. And there we go, we're done. So just go finish, go into level one, and let's just extend it all the way to the outside of this wall and all the way to the outside of this wall. And we're done. And we just go finish model or no, before we finish model, let's go back at it in place. Let's change the material. So let's go here to material and I want that uh, Starbucks green color. So let's type in green and see what we get. So we only have this plastic green and the color is way too bright. So I'm just going to make it a lot darker. We can change that later on in when rendering. But anyway, so this is now finished and let's go into 3D. So this looks cool already. Just let's delete this, hold this wall because we don't need it. Now this uh, has basically it's, uh, it's there as a wall. So let's just delete all of this. And for this wall, let's uh, when I select it, I just hover over one of them. I hit the tab key and then I select. So you get the whole like wall segment. And let's just change this to this generic 200 millimeter and 
let's go and change the material to that wood material just to make it look cool so let's see material let's type in wood and there's that okay wood and there's that siding wood that I like to use okay this is the one so let's slow that in hit apply okay okay again apply okay and there we go so this is looking quite cool already so let's do the kind of all the finishing touches to make it look like it actually works as a cafe so go to level one let's place a door first but let's let's flip these to the outside so flip them flip this one flip this one and if I go into 3d as you can see these are really ugly these edges because they're kind of overlapping and then that's not how they should look so let's kind of clean them up so I'm just going to select this thing and hold the control select this thing orbit around select these two and then I'm just going to unpin all of them so that's what you need to do so just go unpin all of them and then here let's change it to something like trapezoid and go delete elements don't worry and now if I select out of it as you can see now it kind of rounded off the edge now you can choose you can change this thing into something different but I really like the way this looks so I'm just going to be keeping it and let's just repeat the same thing here so just zoom in select zoom in here here as well okay and then unpin 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 and let's change it to trapezoid delete instances and there you go so this looks cool already now let's select all of these walls uh, okay and uh, let's give it an offset because it's kinda going pro poking through this roof let's just give it an top offset of minus 30 centimeters okay and for these two again this one I can do this minus 30 but uh, for these two I can't so I need to edit their profile so just go here into edit profile you pick uh, lines like this and then you just go trim and extend so just trim and extend trim and extend trim and extend and let's delete this oops nope finish same thing here edit profile pick lines pick these and then again okay I, this one I don't need and then trim and extend, trim and extend, trim and extend all the way around and then delete this one, finish it off, there you go go back into level one so this looks nice already, let's just connect it it's kinda poking out weirdly okay and these two I'm just going to be moving kinda inward towards the wall this thing again it doesn't work that way in real life this is how it should look like okay so now let's place doors on these curtain walls and it's a bit different than placing here because if I go to architecture and go to door and let's use the smaller ones so let's place one here and one here or maybe here as you can see it's easier to place but if I go to place here I can't I get this cross sign so how to fix that well you need to kind of tab so just hover over the curtain wall hit the tab a few times and then you can select this and unpin it and if we look over here we don't have a door we only have empty so let's go and load in a door so just go to insert uh, load family and go back go back and we've got doors okay let's find this one okay this one looks cool open it up and now again tab 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 find it select it and find the door okay this looks all right and do the same thing for the other side but let's just make it smaller so just select this uh, mullion you unpin it and then you type in 90 or whatever and let's do the same thing over here unpin it 90 and let's just change the panel unpin and go here door and let's just flip it to the other side okay we're almost done so a few more uh, little finishing touches so let's go to wall let's use this wall just to give them a kind of a separate area here so this will have kind of this will be the bathroom and this is kind of a storage area and let's place a door over here maybe pull this in a bit same thing here and now again we have that same problem where we need to edit the shape of this but first let's just attach it to level roof and now let's again we need to select 
we need to go edit profile and again there is a lot of picking of lines okay this one we don't need and then again trim and extend trim and extend trim and extend trim and extend and let's delete this let's go finish same thing here edit profile pick lines you select all the ones you need again I almost I made the one I don't need and let's just connect them all delete this one finish it off okay so we're almost done so let's just place a hole over here kind of a uh, a little bar so they can kind of hand the coffees through so for that let's go into level one and here for walls when you select it you've got this wall opening so you select that and you just click and drag and you get this opening but you can select it and you can actually change the the basically the offsets so for the base offset let's do I don't know like 120 and for the off top offset let's do 120 again oops not now let's see what this looks like so if we go into 3d okay so this is too high okay it's because it's going for the top constraint is roof but the top constraint should be level 1 and then let's do this at 240 maybe like that okay there you go and again you can select this over here this hole and then you can change it and maybe make it whatever you you would like it to be so maybe like that but anyway so we need to add uh, a railing over here and we also need to add the Starbucks sign that's the most important part so let's get the railing out of the way first so for railing just as simple as any other railing go railing and let's choose pipe and let's give it an offset of something like 10 centimeters and do it kinda like this maybe connect it here yeah and then trim and extend delete this thing and let's give it a little fillet over here I like to have that fillet edge at 60 centimeters yeah this looks really nice right now okay so let's go into 3d okay so two more things I would like to do so I'd like to add a Starbucks sign as well as a little decal over here kind of a Starbucks logo so let's do the decal first uh, and if I move Revit out of the way as you can see here I've got an image of the Starbucks kind of decal so I'm going to be placing that inside here so what you need to do is you need to go to insert you need to find a decal and then you get this decal menu and you need to go here to create new decal and let's just call it new decal who cares we only have one in this project and for the source so here's where you search for the source and let's uh, do go to desktop uh, this is the one I think yeah the, the PNG and let's just open it up yeah that's the one the Starbucks cafe and let's just hit OK and now we need to place it so before we do that we need to set a work plane so let's go back to architecture set work plane pick a plane and let's pick this wall over here let's see if we can okay there we go so now let's go back into insert decal and let's just place it like that and now you can change the size but you're saying probably wait you can't see it don't worry when we go into realistic we'll be able to see that but before we go into realistic let's just do just the the Starbucks sign to finish it off so let's go to architecture 3d text let's type in star box coffee okay so we do that and we kind of place it like this so this doesn't make any sense so how do we we need to change this so let's edit work plane let's go with pick a plane and let's pick this mullion face over here so now it's kind of stuck to the glass wall that's what we want to have but it's too high so we can change we need to change the text height so let's go here into edit and let's just change it to something like 30 centimeters and hit apply okay now it's smaller and now we can kind of maneuver it around place it where it should be move it around a bit okay and let's just change the material to something white so let's type in white okay let's do the gypsum wallboard the material I always use for white and there you go so it's finished and let's just see how it looks like in 3d with all of the materials so let's go to ground level create a camera kinda like that 
extend it a bit maybe maybe orbit it around yeah and let's just render it for a second just to see what we have and there you go our very own Starbucks cafe in Revit so this was quite cool to model thank you for watching and if you want to get this project model with a couple of more mods you can find the link in the description to my patreon and there you can download it okay so that's pretty much it for this video thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions for future tutorials please leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day